divorced, beheaded, and died. Divorced, beheaded, survived. King Henry VIII of England had six wives, but only one or two, depending on, on your definition of the word, survived. This book is The Six Wives of Henry VIII by Alison Ware. It's a non-fiction book, and I absolutely loved it. And I hope that this particular jewel will persuade you that you will love it too. This book is set in the 15th century, uh, mainly in England, although parts of the book do take place in France, Spain, Germany, or Scotland. The majority of the book takes place in different halls, manors, palaces, and castles, basically anywhere where the court of King Henry VIII was staying. The main character of this book is Henry VIII, uh, the King of England, who is often portrayed as a tyrant or portrayed as a very charming and charismatic man. Although he may have been charismatic, he was also very violent, very cruel, and very angry. This more angry part of him became more prominent towards the later years of his life. Uh, the book begins with the, with the birth of Catherine of Aragon, Henry's first wife, and ends with the death of Henry's fourth wife, Anne of Cleves, who, contrary to popular belief, long outlived all of Henry's other wives. This book is almost impossible to believe that everything in the book actually happened because it's so dramatic and romantic, but in reality, everything in the story really did happen, which, which is what gave this book its charm. I thought the theme or meaning of this book wasn't just to inform the reader about the wives of Henry VIII. It was to tell the reader how people have many different aspects, and you can't judge a person by just one of those aspects. King Henry VIII wasn't just a... Um, the King of England. He was a human being with hopes and dreams and fears. And so I found the book, that the theme of this book was identity. I would recommend this book to anyone who loves the past and anyone who's interested in the English Reformation. It's also to people who love romance, who love adventure, and who love drama. And everything in this book actually really did happen, which, which is what makes this book so much more um, fascinating and exciting. Any questions?